So this question looks like it's going to be a simplified question. Simplified questions will always provide either an expression or equation and will also be a short question, right, between one and three lines long. So what I'm going to do is, to, first of all, I'm going to simplify this as much as I can. Um, so I'm going to rewrite it here. I have 4x plus 4. I have ax minus 1 and minus x squared plus 4. So out of habit, whatever I recognize that a question is a simplified question, I just jump straight to simplifying what I have before I even read anything. So that's, that's why I haven't read the actual question yet. So how do I simplify this? So I'm going to FOIL this by multiplying first times first, which is 4ax squared, and then outer the two outer terms, which is minus 4x, the two inner terms, which is plus 4ax, and then the two last terms, so that's minus 4, and of course I have a minus x squared and a plus 4 here. So to simplify this, I'm going to say, well, the 4ax squared and the x squared are like terms, so I'm going to group those together and say I have 4ax squared minus x squared. Also, the minus 4x and the plus 4ax should go together because those are they both are x terms. So I'm going to say I have minus 4x plus 4ax. And then lastly, it looks like this negative 4 here and this positive 4 here will just cross out, right? Negative 4 plus 4 is just 0. All right, so that's as simple as I can get here. Um, I could probably, I, there's a little bit more I can do. I could pull out a like term. For instance, I could say this is x squared times 4a minus 1. And then this is, I could say, 4a times x plus 1. I'm not sure how valuable that is right now, but I'll leave it there because who knows. Okay, so now let's read the question. So the question says, in the expression above, a is a constant, so that's good to know. Right, so this is actually a number here. It's not a variable. Um, if the expression is equivalent to bx. Okay, so that's, that is new information. If the expression is equivalent to bx, that means, let's go with this, right? Let's go with the unfactored form. That means that this 4ax squared minus x squared minus 4x plus 4ax is actually equal to just bx. That says a lot, right? I'll keep reading and then we'll deal with how we handle that. It says where b is a constant, okay, what is the value of b? So what does b equal? Okay, well, how is this even possible? How is it possible that all of this gives me just bx? Well, I am going to focus my attention on the x part of this, right? Because we know that b is a constant, right? b is a constant. So what don't I see on the right-hand side of this equation? I don't see an x squared term, right? I don't see these guys, which means somehow they have to cross each other out, right? There must be some a value that completely eliminates the x squared terms on the left-hand side. I need to figure out what that a value is. So I'm going to say, because I wanted to eliminate, 4ax squared minus x squared needs to equal 0, and if that's the case, then let's use this actual, this factored portion. That means that x squared times 4a minus 1 has to equal 0, which means x squared equals 0 or 4a minus 1 equals 0. Now, if x squared equals 0, that just tells us that x is equal to 0, which is fine. We're not looking for an x value here anyway, but that gives us that. But it also tells us here that 4a minus 1 equals 0, which means that 4a equals 1, which tells us that a is equal to 1 fourth. Now, that's very valuable. So it's valuable because if a equals 1 fourth, first of all, all of this is now gone, right? 4a x squared minus x squared is now gone. And second of all, the remaining portion here on the left-hand side, let's kind of break this out over here where I have more space, becomes negative 4x plus 4a, but I know that a is 1 fourth, x equals bx. Now you can see the whole, the whole purpose of what I was doing. At least now on both sides, the only variable that I have is x. But I can simplify this left-hand side further because I have negative 4x. 4 times 1 fourth is just 1. 
So one times x is just x. So I have negative 4x plus x equals bx. Negative 4x plus x is negative 3x. So negative 3x equals bx. And obviously, therefore, right, we divide both sides by x. b is equal to negative 3. And the answer is choice b.